Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Knight. Shocking video has been circulating on social media of a car driving off the Virginia Beach fishing pier between 14th and 15th Street. Now we, we are not going to show that video, but we understand it happened around seven o'clock this morning. Police believe the car to be currently at the bottom of the ocean. Chopper 10 was on the scene this morning with meteorologist Ricky Matthews. He gives us a look at what happened. An iconic sight along the Virginia Beach ocean front looks a little different after a car drove off the Virginia Beach fishing pier early Saturday morning. Chopper 10 arrived just after 9 a.m. By that time, most of the fire and rescue crews were already gone, but police were still on scene. You can see the damage at the end of the pier, the wooden railing missing, showing where the car drove through and into the water. Now, to give you a little perspective, the pier is 650 feet long, originally built in 1950. At the entrance to the pier, there are gates and a restaurant, a shop as well. That means the driver first had to make it onto the boardwalk, then drive through the gate, through another gate of the turnstiles, and down the entire 650-foot length of the pier before going into the water. The pier is owned by the Saboni family, the owners of the uh, Sensations Beach stores, and attracts thousands of fishermen and spectators annually looking for either a great catch or just to take in the views of the sand and the surf. Now, thankfully, of course, it is winter, which means the pier and the oceanfront boardwalk not as busy. Uh, water temperatures right now are in the mid 40s, so that complicates any issues with someone going into the water. Over the years, the pier has sustained damage from hurricanes and other weather events like nor'easters, but this one was certainly something that they did not anticipate. In Chopper 10 with pilot Scott Abbott, I'm meteorologist Rick Matthews, 10 on your side. And as you can imagine, lots of people are in shock over this, many not knowing what to think. 10 on your side's Raven Payne is live now in the oceanfront with reaction of what happened today. Raven? Yes, yeah, so while reiterating again, we did receive the video of this incident from a viewer, but because of the possible circumstances around this, we will only be using a still picture. Early Saturday morning, a car drove off the Virginia Beach oceanfront pier. Police say the call came in around 6.50 a.m. Witnesses say the car broke through three gates to get onto the pier. The sound prompted Caitlin Parker and her friend to pull out their phones and start recording. We heard this big crash around the pier and we looked over as we were like taking pictures of the sunrise and we see this car straight lining it down the pier. Um, and we were like, this is crazy. And I was like, you turn your camera like this is important. You need to catch this. Officers arrived on scene quickly after public information officer Jude Brynja says they'll stay on scene until they recover the car and anyone who might have been inside. So our Marine Patrol is on scene right now and they are um, gathering resources okay. to figure out what it will take for that to happen. Charlotte Murphy, who works at Ocean Eddies on the pier, says she came into work around 720 and was met with a large police presence. Never ever heard of anything or seen anything like this in all of my years of working here. It's definitely pretty shocking, to say the least. All of the people I spoke with say how sad they think this is. But whoever it is, you know, I pray for them, and I pray for their family, and, and, and you know, I hope they're at uh, peace. Now, police say it's unknown at this time how many people might have been in the car and what led up to the incident, but we're working on finding out more information from authorities. Live at the Oceanfront, Raven Payne, turn on your side. All right, thank you, Raven. The pier where the car drove off is right in front of the well-established Ocean Eddies located on the boardwalk. Ten on your side was at the scene and spoke with the owner of that restaurant who heard about the incident from one of his cooks. Jeff Haig said there was some damage to the restaurant, ripping part of the wall off in front of the freezer, which they planned to patch up. He also says when he watched the video, he thought there may have been some hesitation with the driver. And it looked like there was some hesitation with the driver. You could see like, speed up, slow down, brake lights come on and off, but then at the very end. On their social media post, the seafood restaurant says the police allowed them to reopen at 11 o'clock this morning. We will continue to follow this story and have updates on air and online at wavy.com.